All right, welcome back guys to Gilgamesh and Inkadu's reviews. Inkadu here, and this will be our, actually our first Marvel Legends review. Today we're looking at the Deadpool Wave Sasquatch Build-A-Figure uh, cable. Now this is the first one I got from this wave, and I gotta say, I am very impressed. Very cool looking 90s style X-Force cable. Now to start off, we'll take a look at what this guy came with. First of all, the Build-A-Figure piece to Sasquatch. Came with one of the legs. And then he came with three different weapons. First of all, it's this small, kind of like a double barrel pistol thing. And then this more, this other gun here. And then he came with this big blaster type weapon. Which what's cool, let me see here. If you have some of the recent Iron Man figures that come with this blast effect, you can port it into the gun. And these can be stored on cable, so you can plug the big gun on his back there. You can see there's a peg right there, and there's a peg hole right there. Plug that in. And then this gun can be holstered on this side here. And then he can hold uh, this one. So that way when he's on your shelf you can have him with all the weapons that he came with on him. Now, let's go over articulation. So, head can look up pretty far, although this collar piece kind of hinders some of it, but not too much. He can look down, turn 360, a little bit of a wobble there. Ab crunch goes about that far. And a click back. Arms will move 360 around, double jointed elbow, wrist rotates, hinge at the wrist over here that goes up and down, and then over here this wrist moves like a side to side over here. And then move onto the legs, you can rotate, move up that much, back not so much. Double jointed knees, uh, rotation at the upper boot, and ankles move down, up a little bit, and ankle pivot. Now, I think now is an appropriate time to compare this guy to the previous cable figure. Here's the cable from the Juggernaut Builder figure wave. see that this cable stands a little bit shorter I think than the other one just by a hair and this guy's arms are de and hands are definitely bigger but I prefer this 90s costume here rather than this one which I'm not too familiar with and then here's cable compared to the 90s Deadpool. That's also a part of this wave. And then here he is with the previous Deadpool from the Juggernaut Build a Figure wave. And then here he is with another good comparison the Juggernaut Build a Figure wave. Brown suit Wolverine. And then, last but not least, 
here he is with the actual Juggernaut build a figure. Since Juggernaut was in Deadpool 2 and so was Cable. Just a fun little comparison. Overall, very, very nice figure. Like it much better than the other Cable. Love the eye effect there for Cable's, representing Cable's telekine telekinetic powers. And if you don't know, a little history on Cable. He is the son of Scott Summers, a.k.a. Cyclops. And a cloned version of Jean Grey, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Cable was infected with a techno-organic virus by Apocalypse when he was a baby. So he was sent to the future to find a cure for it, but he just holds it back with his telekinetic powers. That's why only his arm is metal. So he can't use his powers to his full extent. That's why he uses guns and other methods, and he formed uh, X-Force, which included Domino, Shatterstar, and a couple other uh, mutant characters, and Deadpool would eventually join in as well. Well, hope you guys liked that review. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like the video, and then follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links will be down in the description. Have a, have a great day.